appreciate each of you coming tonight. Really some encouragement and praise. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you we can come here and serve our county, Lord. We thank you for the rain yesterday. We know we need it. Amen. We thank you for how you bless us and took care of us. Lord, we have a, we have a county's best interest at heart. Yes. Guide us and under us. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. I need consideration to approve tonight's agenda. Moving on, this is a, a workshop tonight, and uh, we came here to discuss um, solid waste op solid waste operations. And, uh, we'll open up some discussion here about about where we're going. Mr. Reeves, good to have you tonight. Thank you, sir. I didn't, I didn't here. recognize you, but thank you. Um, do you want to start off with telling us where we are in our contractual? I can do what I what I believe, and I believe you're in a five-year contract on one that is for five years without a provision for uh, terminating uh, and a one-year contract that can be uh, terminated at the end of this calendar year. Uh, we've got both of the uh, agreements for collection and disposal of solid waste um, terminate on June 30th, 2024 and it if my memory serves me correctly, uh, when you discussed this, it was uh, part of what you discussed it, that it would be for five years because the contractor was investing considerable money and needed at least that length of time in order to, uh, to be able to cover the cost. The solid waste transportation agreement was this year to year agreement. That started in December? It, it in the end of the calendar year. Okay. Now it can be renewed from year to year. It has to be. You'd have to take some action to not have it automatically renewed within a uh, period of time prior to this end. It is intended that it would continue unless you decide to stop. So the transportation has an automatic renewal term, correct? The hauling has an automatic renewal term. It is for one year, and it has renewal terms unless you give 30 days notice prior. Uh, of your desire to not renew, you can not renew it. Mm -hmm. So, can you do you have the um the contract there for the the collection and disposal? I do. Can you read the terms of it? Terms of agreement. Terms of agreement signs and years annual renewable term from the start date of October the first, two thousand nineteen, and expiring on June thirtieth, twenty twenty four. Each annual term. Uh, will coincide with the budget year, which is for July 1, June 30. This agreement may be extended for additional years by the mutual agreement of both parties. Either party may request an extension of the term by making such request at least 60 days prior to the termination date of June 30th, 2024. Okay, so you said annual, it has annually annual term, renewable, but it has. You can only terminate it 60 days prior to 2024, June 30th of 2024. So it's your opinion, it's your legal opinion that this contract, that we, we are locked in until 2024, despite the terms annually renewable in each annual year. I am. Is there any stipulations that would uh, let you get out of the contract? Just hold on a minute and get through with this, and we'll open up the questions. And just because I'm here to get. I'm just, I'm just sitting here because when we discussed the the hospital contract, it was it was Mr. Um, Reeves' advice and opinion that we could not enter into a multi-year lease agreement pursuant to the 36-30-13 rules, okay? And it was in a letter that he, he, he wrote to us about that. But 
I just find it problematic that he was adamant about that with the hospital, but then the same board has entered into a multi-year lease contract um, with the collection. And the term that he used in his letter with the hospital was binding one board to a contract. So you couldn't bind the board to that contract, but you bound this the, the same board to this contract. I thought we did bind to the hospital. Right. We have we have provisions in the hospital agreement. For you. Yes. Yeah, but there's not this is not a that, that was uh, for your protection as well. But we although, have no protection here. Although your intent and the intent of that agreement is that it be an eight year agreement. But that contract allows us yearly. We have we have an out. But this one we have no out. It would be extremely difficult to get out before the end of the eight years, but in this case, uh, in my opinion, uh, you terminate this agreement, uh, you're going to keep the protection attached to uh, a lawsuit. Okay. So what if this contract was originated despite the current law on the books that says the said Board of Commissioners shall be the purchasing agent of said county and that all purchases which amount to more than $500 shall be made on bid with right reserve to reject all bids or on competitive quotations from two or more persons unless a majority of said board by formal vote shall adjudge such procedures impractical. And based off of my review of all the minutes over the past two years, there has been no formal open vote to not bid this stuff. So if this contract if the law says it's supposed to be bid, and it wasn't bid, is there is there room? Like, what do you do whenever you obtain a, a contract against what the law says? I think you all discussed that in, in great detail. I wasn't on the board at that time, so. He, but the board did. Well, he did. And essentially, the board's decision to enter into this agreement was a decision that it didn't have to be bid out. That it was practical to bid it out. Was there a formal vote? There was a formal vote to adopt the contract, yes. As is. Was there a formal vote not to bid it? Because the minutes do not reflect it. No, the minutes are not going to say that there was a formal vote not to bid it. Okay, thank but, you. Mr. Kind of Attorney, I understand in talking with, you know, just one of the what you started, what you don't have to live a bid. Mm -hmm. That's correct. You know, that's, that's what that's my understanding. That's something I called and talked with guys up in Atlanta and he said, you know, you're doing a road and you're contracting a road, you have to bid it. Yeah. But you didn't have to bid waste what was told to me now. And that was, that's one of the great things he said for years that, you know, certain things you didn't have to bid. And this one was one of the service yeah. Okay. So the definition of purchases is to obtain something, to attain a good or service with money. Okay. Um, the laws that you were referencing, Commissioner Warren, are state laws for construction over 100,000 and roads and bridges. This was a law that was adopted in 1949 pursuant to Scriven County, the people sitting around this table in 1949 for Scriven County. So even though this may not be subject to the entire state of Georgia, it's my understanding that it's still subject to Scriven County. We're talking about the ordinance being the local ordinance of Scriven County by the Scriven County Court. And the board decided in, in adopting the contract it was impractical to bid it. So the minutes do not reflect done. that. And the minutes don't have to reflect it if you adopt okay. the contract. Okay. The law says that it should have been by a formal vote not to bid it, and the minutes do not reflect that. What's the amount they said? It's 500, no. which is impractical, but not for 1949. But that's irrelevant. This has been amended since then. What's the amendment? Where's the amendment? I'm, I'm, looking, I'm, I'm hopeful that Florida will eventually sign it. I saw where I'm, I created it, and I believe that it's moved on, but I don't have a copy to sign. But if you haven't signed it, anyway, that's the amendment to change the uh, ordinance with regard to the amount of, uh, that the county manager has the authority for. Said at the time of the meeting was a professional service, didn't have to be good. Now, whether 
that's correct or not, you may be correct. I don't know. You won't argue the point one way or the other. So um, that's the that's the advice that we acted on that day. Okay. Uh, advice, the advice of our council. And I think that's however we end up here really doesn't matter, but that's where we are. So. Well, maybe we can clear it up. Sam, you're offering to do what we're doing now is cheaper, right? Yeah. Why would you do that if we're locked down for five years? <coughs> well, the transportation side <coughs> is where we're burdened y'all's loaders um, what we've offered you're talking about the loading proposal kind of more talking about the contract when you when you got this for us not that I disagree with you Mr. Hughes before, before, you, before you even get there let me let me add this if you're in a contract yes, sir. both parties agree to amend the contract you can do that regardless sure so what was in your intent on this language of the contract was annually renewable when we we had to invest in the grapple in a lot of containers so we we amortize that generally over five years 60 months so that's the way we view it um, the transportation is just the calendar year contract we use those tractors and trailers to haul trash from Jenkins from here from Statesboro from the manual so we can spread those assets over multiple what we bought for Shreven was specifically for Shreven. Um, I submitted a similar contract that we have with many counties, and I submitted it, and he reviewed it, and it was approved. And I think the annual portion of it, it has an annual provision for me to raise the price. That's correct. And I've never done that. Every year I can come back to you, it has an automatic consumer price index pricing system. I've never done that. Done it, that's right. the, the grapple truck, and I've never done that. So I think from an annual perspective, if I came back to you and said, I need to raise the price, and again, I'm not an attorney, you could say, no, we, we, we're not going to do that, and I can't go forward, but I've never carried that out. Um, and look, I want to I want to do good by y'all and right by y'all. I think y'all got a terrific collection program, and we've offered something that, that's another discussion on this loading, that you should jump all over with both feet, like a dog on a bone. It's an attractive offer. What, with Jenkins uh, County? Well, the whole load, we buy a loader, we load the trash, we charge you $49 a ton for loading, trucking, and disposal. That is an offer you should jump on. It is an attractive offer. So, so for the hauling and the and the well, and the tipping $49 yeah. so you're gonna save us two dollars a ton and, and in return we're supposed to bus, we're supposed to bust in Jenkins County's trash which is an additional 13,000 ton two dollars a ton is not gonna save us on the wear and tear on hold our on. scales and our roads hold on, hold on, hold on. right now it's costing us according to your map of order all about 5150 and we load it and we pay for the load right. he's offering to do it for 49 he pays for the person, the insurance, the risk. We're going to support the council like that and the loan. And I think Bobby got me a quote for 221, and I'm not sure if that in 21. Okay. It's the correct booking and stuff that you need. So, I mean, there's a, there's some savings there, too. But that's contingent upon us taking in Jenkins County trash. Transferring it. Well, when you say taking it, you, you assume that we're bearing it. But we're, we're no, that is contingent upon, the $49 is contingent upon us allowing Jenkins County trash to come to our transfer station and be loaded from our transfer station and shipped to Savannah. So $2 a ton does not offset the wear and tear on our roads and our scales. Well, what road? It's coming no. through the roads anyway. The state road. It's the only road, road that's okay, right, state right, road. Okay, all right, just the scales. I mean, whatever, you, I mean, nitpick it, whatever. But $2 a ton is not worth, the savings is not worth the, we're still responsible for the scale and we're still responsible for the scale house, correct? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So, so you want to bust an additional how many how many how many tons of trash does Jenkins County have? Thirteen thousand. That's what I got. Four hundred a month. Four hundred tons a month. Yeah. Is that right? Yep. So not quite thirteen thousand. Okay. Close to four hundred. Yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out because I have. 
Well, I have Dickens County contract, and they say that they have about 13,000 tons. Mm -hmm. They might have a lot of C&D. Yeah, they might C&D is commercial the bear landfill there. Okay. So only MSW from the county and only MSW from Milling is what we're talking about. So you're saying they only have 4,800 municipal solid waste? Yes, of MSW. Don't don't include C and D. Don't include yard debris. But we're not talking about that. I mean, the reality is probably costing them eight dollars a ton to load it. If you take into consideration any cost of a loader and the person and the insurance and all the stuff that's involved with that, and he's willing to load it for cheaper than what he's hauling it for. I mean, that's. Why can't he just do it cheaper now without Dickens County contract? <coughs> the reason is to unload in the trucks at 14 tons, <coughs> make him wait three hours like we did the other week where we had the whole county backed up because the loader was down for three days. But surely you can understand where he's just running one loader rather than two. It would be more efficient for him. Well, because he doesn't have to have transportation in Jenkins County. Why are we, we're supposed to be helping our people, not him and his business. So the fact of the matter is, if you let's go all the way back to the beginning, we used to have 70 sites at $50 a, a year. We have 20 sites at $100 a year now. But you understand so, so, why we had to change the, the rate, don't you? Like it has to do with the service delivery strategy with the city. We can't take any like we can't take any money out of our general budget yeah, and use a trash dump. So we had to go up to make the fee. So you doubled it on on the county people to offset $150,000 plus city trash. Because more trash comes from the county than from the city. I don't follow. Help me. You're saying that you had to up the fee, you had to double the fee on the county residents. Yes. To cover the cost because you lost the city <coughs> trash. No, we didn't lose, had nothing yeah. to do with the city trash. We couldn't take funds out of, we couldn't take any money out of a junior yeah. fund. And use it to subsidize our trash. It's what we were doing in the past. Okay. Matter of fact, we were subsidizing the city's trash pretty heavily. Okay. And we quit doing that. And so, in order for, I mean, we have to raise the rate until whatever it costs to cover the cost. We can't get the money anywhere else. You went from 70 sites to 20. The trash is the same. And we have more capacity. Don't have we actually have mm -hmm. more capacity than we have. I mean, the more. volume of the trash is the same. Okay. Yeah. So, the cost is the same. Because there are 20 sites. As it is to go to 70. No, yes, we're not right. talking about it. Oh, no, no. I think it's cheaper. Okay. And you lost four employees and the cost is the same. Had we stoked the way we were doing it, it would cost $125, $150 a resident. Okay. But before we weren't paying for it, uh, for that collection, the, 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 the fee, we were taking that insurance from the tax dollars. It wasn't specifically okay. trash fee. Okay. Whatever. I mean, I'm what just like. What does whatever mean? Because the mean. math isn't there, and, well, and when you look at, when you I, look at we quit work, we're here, so let's just have to explain. Well, okay, so to. so what what was 2017's budget for sanitation? What you got, John? Probably a million dollars. Okay, so what was 2018? Hold on, hold on. There's two separate budgets. This man, there's a lot of nuance in this. You had solid waste collection, and you had a disposal budget. Mm -hmm. We had to get rid of the collection part for the mm -hmm. city mm -hmm. because we no longer. And use our general fund money because the city taxpayers sued us over all that stuff. Okay. Make a long story short, our revenues were forty thousand worth of tipping fees and collections. Right now, for this fiscal budget, we should bust two hundred thousand. So since Sam came on, our revenues have just gone through the roof. A large part actually we're charging Sam every time he brings something out there where we weren't charging anybody before. I mean, just truthfully, mainly the city. The city's a, over a hundred thousand. So what are you charging Sam to bring the city trash? Fifty one dollars a ton. What does it cost us to bus out the trash once it's collect once it's combined at the transfer station? What does it cost to load it and haul it and tip it? Forty nine dollars a Fifty two dollars a ton. That's so only, right now it only you're cost losing. Us home. It only costs us forty six dollars if we load the truck correctly. We can change the rate today to a hundred dollars and make plenty of money, but I don't think that's gonna Where'd you get the forty six from? If you just pack out trucks, where'd you get the if you load, if you loaded 24 tons, 24 and a half tons mm -hmm. per load, which mm -hmm. is what you should yeah. do, mm -hmm. it would be 46 dollars a ton. The problem is the reason it's over 451 is because your loader does not load us, but with about 18 or 19 tons of average, and it takes an hour and a half sometimes to load it. That's
that that's why. And let me say this, uh, John, Bobby has said something about our voter. It don't go down. It don't go down. That's what it doesn't have is. enough stroke. The stroke, right. The stroke don't go down the plastic truck. Right. So we can't load the truck like we should. Sam was to put us a load of in it that would do that. And right now our load was down. Matter of fact, Wednesday, day, day Thursday, Tuesday, yeah. uh, Roger had to take the piece over there because we it was down. So when our machine is down, we have no other way to operate. And I talked with Bobby with this several times before now, and we tried to get different contractors to come in in the past to do this. And Bobby said he couldn't get anybody. Sam was the only one to did and come in. Yeah. He he come in. He he general managed our county with our sites down from 70, 50, 70 sites down to 18 sites, I think, where we at now, and, and it's working good. I mean, you come in on the on the end, and you want to look at different figures, you want to change everything around, you want to do that, but you know, I was best for Scriven County, and I think these guys, have, and I give John and Edwin and the gentlemen a lot of credit. They have worked a lot of hours on this, along with Sam. I want to be fair to Sam, but I want to be fair to our taxpayers of Scriven County, too, and I think that's what we're trying to do. And I think in the end, I think we would do that. Well, it's before we weren't doing a terrible job picking up trash when we were saving the site. Yeah. And so we... And we needed two trucks. We needed two trucks. I mean, we had a truck down that we were fixing that to replace for two hundred five ten thousand dollars $10,000 at the time. And so that's why we decided to go a different route. In the consolidation, I do think it was probably a little inconvenient for some reason, but I think in the long term, it's probably more physically responsible anyway. And we got used to it. But but that's where we got there. But I, help me out why you don't want to take in Jenkins County garbage. I, I'm missing that. Because I think, <clears throat> I think that the way we're doing it right now, we're still losing money. I think that based off of the number of sites that people used to have and what they used to pay in comparison to what they have now and what they are paying, um, it's like you're not going in the right direction. The whole purpose of this was to was to save the people money and to make it more efficient. And I'm just looking at, like I'm looking at the actual end, end number, you know, like, the 2017 budget says that it was 870, and I'm a little concerned about these numbers, but anyway, 873,000. On what? The disposal or collection? The sanitation, the audit. Sanitation. Oh, so it's just two 2018. Separate. I'm looking at you, I got it right. It's over a million dollars between the two. Okay, so tell me what it is. So 2017, if you've got it right there, tell me what 2017 is. He's got the audit information. Seventeen was budget expenditure a million. Okay. On, on one. So right now we're eight thirty, and then you're talking thirty thousand revenue. So you get eight thirty off a million, you're pretty far up, and then you go from forty to two hundred thousand revenue. You save three hundred thousand dollars plus eliminating a headache. So what did we spend in 2017 for the sanitation? Like a million dollars. What did we spend in 2018 for the sanitation? Well, your number's 873 in 18. In 17. 873 is 17. A million in 18. A million just in nineteen. That's just disposal. Okay. Okay. So the collection side of that. I mean, okay. So what is the number for twenty seventeen in sanitation? I just told you we get a million on disposal. Okay. I don't see the collection part. What is? What is the? Don't be coarse the way you talk. It's hard to try to communicate sometimes. What is the <laughs> What is the sanitation budget for twenty eighteen? Oh, what is? I have what I have, yeah. Well, but you, so what do you have? Mean? What do you mean? I, I mean, you're the numbers guy, right? So, I mean, so what is 2018? 
What's 2018's budget? Sanitation disposal. What's the, what's the actual end result for 2018? Over a million dollars. What is the actual end result for 2019? That's 19, what, did it change in 19 more? So, that's just separated. Yeah, 775 and 340. So a million dollars. What's the end result for 2020? 2021, Lord. But I think you have mm -hmm. to put in. You, you lost four jobs. And you lost 50 wait, sites. Hold on, who lost a job? Wait a minute. He no. hired every, he offered a job to everybody. Okay, four people four don't have jobs, and you, you're saying but 50 I think the sites. Revenue, but I think the revenue you have it. What's the end result for 2020? 2021, right now, we're at 830. Plus our revenue is. What's the end result for 2020? Plus our revenue is pushing 200. The revenue, you understand there's a revenue stream in there? Yeah, I do, and there's a revenue stream in every single one of them. But I'm not no. looking at the revenue stream. I'm looking at the expenditures because the expenditures are supposed to go down. That's what you said. So well, I'm just listen, trying to get one number. Where there's an expense is directly correlated with the revenue. Kind of like when we see okay. a big line item on expense for gun permits. It looks crazy, but people pay for the gun permits yeah. on the other side of the revenue. Okay. So sometimes there's expense here on so you don't think the revenue is important in the thing? I don't think, so you're, are you saying that the rev, that the city of Savannah is generating more trash today than it was in 2017? Is that no, what you're saying? No, but they're paying. They're they paying. They're paying. They're paying. So. We did it for free. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I obviously you don't believe it, but I mean, what do you, I'd love for you to understand it. So we need Sam Sullivan to do billing. That's what you're saying. Right. The city of Savannah wasn't paying in 2017, and so now the revenue stream has gone up because yeah, we're because Sam out. Sullivan is doing the billing. No, no. it's nothing to do with it. the billing. I don't know how okay. to help you out. Okay. All right. Do you understand the service delivery strategy? How that changes? Yes, I do. I understand I that. Well, that sums it up, man. Well, yeah. if you do, I mean, it's it's simple yeah. in that. Yeah. That's what it is. They get paid before it's anyway. Right. Okay. You, but you still have fun, though. You don't have to wait for time. Could you, the 775, was that disposal or right. collect? I didn't, I'm, Anybody you know, I'm sorry. I just, what year? you said in the one, in 2019, you said it was 775 and 340. I'll just give you all these. Okay. Right. I just didn't know. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I just, it's hard to when you're reading them off. You've got any other questions here? Yeah. It got a little confusing because like, oh, they sued us. Okay. Only thing I'm going to say, I'm sure. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I get that. But you believe on the overturn of this contract, or are we not? If we're not going to overturn these contracts, then we just beat the dead horse here. And if, if he got both of us, he don't want to overturn the contract. Let's do it and let's go. If it's not, don't even discuss it. He would have made it clear. Well, I'd, like to, I'd like to say one thing. Um, you know, a lot of counties that did contracts, they give a grace to end county contractors. And how do the county contractors want to come in and take, take the money out of the tax budget here in this county? They have to beat a local contract about five or ten percent. I understand how to how to the cars are stacked here with the five-year contract. Um, but going forward, would this board consider allowing local contractors, local businessmen that want to grow their business and do business with this county, keep our tax money in this county? So that that's a million dollars I'm talking about. On the grand scheme of things, I know that's not a lot. You know, once you spread it out and you do the work, it's not a lot. But that's a million dollars. And, and y'all could reclaim a lot of that through sales tax locally if that money was kept right here. It don't. All big contracts in this county get awarded out of this county and that money goes to not, not our local bank, not our local grocery store, not our local gas stations or sports store. I, I agree gone. with the premise. It's gone. Don't. You know, and for the fact that local businessmen are not even allowed the, the ability to participate in the bid process to keep it fair. I mean, when you have a monopoly, you have no incentive to provide an extra service. But Bobby, Bobby, I talked to Bobby about this. I to Bobby about the contract. The whole plan to come in. He said, I tried. I got with Rick, the former county manager we had. You know, we talked about these bidding process and folks coming in. Nobody wanted to come in. Uh, when Bobby did this bid, he said the only one would come in was Sam. 
being on this bed. I mean, I don't know where you guys was at the time uh, when the bidding was going on, but Bobby said he put out to try to get bids. Well, I mean, right Mr. here, we it in the paper. But it was not right advertised. Here, we, we had a workshop that was advertised. Mr. Michael Newton was here. Adam Newton was here. Um, Noble Boykin was here. Ken Brown was here. And all we talked about was and Laura Bell was here? Doing the solid waste. Laura Bell was here? I'm not sure. I don't see Laura Bell. There, there's a, there's a, um, a workshop that y'all did on the trash, and Laura Bell was present, and she specifically asked in the note, why are you not bidding it? And, you, and per the note. Can you show me that, please? I absolutely will. Okay. I did not bring it with what me, but that? I will bring But in the note, the response is, you said that there was already a current contract. So people asked about the bidding. Was there a contract when we did that? That's what you said, but I'm, I'm not sure. I think that was during the time when they were in, they were helping us at the time. We hadn't officially swapped over. Remember, they were already, because our trucks had went down. And people asked about whatever. bidding. I think that's the contract you're referring to. And with you, Commissioner Warren, with all due respect, people don't know that bidding is going on or that they can submit bids if it's not advertised. If it's not put out in the newspaper, if it's not put out on, on a state procurement website or wherever else you can put it out, if it's not put out on flyers, you know what I'm saying? People can't do what they don't know they're able to do unless they're notified. So we're obviously, you're obviously not going to bid the collection, but... I wrote a bid the, proposal that I'm the, working on now. It's about 50 pages. And the problem with this bid proposal is it's, when I pull one from Burke County and Sandin County and some other counties, that stuff gets real... It's, it's, it's the real deal. It's heavy. It's heavy. So, I mean, like it... So because it's cumbersome, it's not, Caribbean County not doesn't want to do it? Me. It'd be cumbersome for a lot of other people to invest that kind of money into something for a one-year contract. And that's right. We do it all the time with FEMA. We do for six months contracts. So because it's cumbersome, contract. you don't want to follow the law. I didn't say that. I mean, you're putting words in people's mouths. I'm just asking you. I know I'm asking. I'm not asking you about the state. But well, the when we when we bid this, when we we didn't bid the thing, like to our knowledge, no one in the county was in the trash business at that time, and this wasn't a trucking contract. Right, no, not the trash, and, but the opportunity. But it was wasn't like last time you said something about you. You understood it was a truck, you know. Power only, I think, was the word you used. Well, that was not the case. The trash. No. But that was not the case either at the time. I mean, they're not pulling our truck. I mean, it's a whole thing. It doesn't matter, but I'm just saying, once you get everything right. No, I mean, understand. Correct. I understand. But I contacted the commissioner that was on the board prior to any contract being awarded here. You know, the only way for a local business to grow is for opportunity. I'm, no you trouble know, with that. I don't mind putting my money back into this county. I don't. Because my kids have to. They have to take advantage of these services and, and, and different right. things. If this county prospers, they have a more prosperous community to live. I agree. At the time when we did this, the only people that were interested that we talked to, right. I'm not saying, was All Green and Atlantic Waste at the time, which they were not together at the time. Is that right, Sam? That's correct. And I'll promise you, if we would have talked to Ben Wall, the roof would have blown off of the thing at the time because everybody, I mean, and a lot of this stuff here now is they don't want Ben Wall to be involved in the transfer station. And that's just, that's dirt. That's just low down. Well, and if we're going to be it. Well, same, the same way with us locals. Huh? It's pretty dirty that we can't be involved. They don't want us, you know, the powers to be don't want us involved. Well, I mean, I've heard, I think there's a lot of innuendo going around that's not, 
it was not something we sat back and said, boy, if we can keep some people out of this, we're going to do it. I understand. I mean, that, in other words, we did. I'll, I'll be happy for you to do it. I mean, I'm not arguing. I, I'm an opportunist myself. I love opportunity. I love the chance to, to help people grow and make money. Um, but there's a certain level of experience that we had doing this for 25 years, and we were off of that. And there was a certain level of growth we needed that we didn't know. Like when I pulled up to Perth County, they're just like, help. That's what their RFP says is help. We don't know what we want, what we need. We like Scribner County site. We like their cameras, their internet. Get somebody. So like when we were looking at this, we wanted somebody to knew what they were doing. Like obviously we didn't. And at the time, I didn't see anybody licensed to do a lot of that on the EPD website. Now that was 2018, so some people might have some licensing now in the county. Um, and that was kind of my take on it. Like I'm happy for anybody to do it. Isn't it? Will that me, come about one day? It will. Sure, sure. At the end of the five-year contract. I, I don't know the legals of this contract. I read it different ways. <laughs> so, and he pretty much just shut it down. For the <laughs> just the collection, but not the hauling. The hauling yeah. is not shut down. Are you going to bid the hauling? Will you bid the hauling in the trash? So there's a certain like. Um, a certain portion of our trash comes from a city that could just go to space shelter their transportation. Theoretically, right now, but if things change in the future. And so, like a hauler, it wouldn't be very lucrative at all for you to come haul three quarters of a load a day and wait around for it. It's like, but sure, yeah. I mean, if it's something that you would want, probably not. But maybe. I mean, to answer that question, I don't know. The hauling is not as rosy as it looks. No, I'll just tell you. And I thought about what you said on your number the other day. On the forty-nine dollars, just it cost us twenty-four fifty, but let's just use twenty-five to dispose. So we're paying twenty-five to dispose. That leaves twenty-four dollars. Let's say he's charging sixteen to truck it. That's the cheapest rate around. That's what Bullet County was getting charged before this collapse last week, which I'm sure you heard about all that. So we'll have the cheapest rate. That means he's going to charge you eight dollars to load it, provide a loader, pay the person. And separate C and D. Eight dollars a ton on how many tons? I would estimate forty tons a day. So that's three hundred twenty bucks to load it, pay person to load it, separate it to C and D somewhere else, and load the C and D somewhere else, so we can take the C and D to Jesus County for forty-three dollars. I can't remember. Anyway, so like sixteen dollars a ton. That ain't a whole lot to total load anyway. That's pretty cheap. I mean, depending on how you want to do that, you could right. you could up the, the transfer fee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying. I yeah, I, I was just trying to be somewhat accurate on my split. Now, y'all paying a tipping fee here and there? What's the, what, what do you mean by tipping fee? Ton. When y'all haul the trash out of the collection site and put it and dump it at the transfer station, we don't pay ourselves a tipping fee. No, well, you know, but the city but going forward, if it's taken over by a, a business. Will you pay a different fee out? We there? already pay no, we already paid the You're talking about a disposal fee at the landfill or tipping fee at our transfer station. I'm sorry. No, no. The numbers all add up to about ninety dollars a ton. From the time it's put in the trash can to the time it's down there. Is that correct? That's correct. Oh, you're talking the collection and the loading. The, the, the collection that's sites. Probably, that's probably the time accurate. It's yeah. around about ninety dollars a ton. That's probably accurate. I don't know for sure. That's how yeah, you can play with the numbers all you want, but at the end of the day you got ninety dollars a ton. You know, what I mean, that's the that's the total scope of work from, from sure. start to finish. Now, whether you want to charge fifty for this and forty for that and break the numbers down and move them all around, that total number is is a lot of money. I'm just I get the numbers. I, I swear I do. And, and and I'm not saying that that there is a huge amount of profit. I'm not saying I want to be in the trash business forever. What I'm saying is I'm here. In hopes of, of helping the county. Well, where we ran into some trouble when we were doing it. Like we started, we were hiring it done, and the trucking, this has been in 07, 06, whatever, I think. Maybe waste management was involved at the time. They, and it kept going up on the trucking. So we bought trucks, bought three trailers, three walking floor trailers. At the time, $50,000 a piece. Each truck, nine, what's supposed to be because 
we had to have somewhere to hold the trash because we don't have anywhere at the transfer station to do it. And there's plenty of times we go to the landfill, if it starts raining or something, it'd be two or three days, we couldn't go there. And so it just ended up being a lot more, we bought new trucks, we bought new trailer. I mean, it's probably, we ran the thing. Does the and it, still have those? The trailer. The trucks and the trucks? Yeah. No. It does dead out there. Well, no, the truck's running. The truck runs at road. It's on the road, boy. But I mean, I'm saying the trailer. The trailer is dead out there. I agree. You know what I mean? But we didn't want to sell the trailer until we made sure this was going to work. I understand that. But a local business could come in and say, hey, why don't I lease what y'all have? Lease it for a little bit of your, what your initial investment is. Let me lease it for the next three years. I don't describe it. I'm just explaining to you where we went into it and how it caught. It's not just as simple as. There was a good bit of capital outlay to start with. I understand. To get and, to that and point. That's dead money as of right now, just sitting, not being utilized. Are you interested in leasing those? Sorry? Are you interested in leasing those trips? I'd be interested in leasing or buying. Well, the reason we hadn't sold or leased or anything is we had it. I didn't want to sell anything that we were going just Absolutely. because what if we got man. 10 I days in or into it somewhere and we, it wasn't working out because you know that's right that's right lead time on getting all that stuff sometimes it's pretty quick sometimes it's not so much you seem pretty interested in all these numbers but bullet county right now for their trucking and disposal is around 4150 a ton doing 60,000 tons 47 miles from the landfill Emanuel's 4580 doing almost 30,000 tons Burt County's 4488 doing 20,000 tons, and they're only 20, that annually or monthly? Annually, and we're only 25 miles from the landfill. So, right now, we figure we should be at 51. Now, if it comes out to 52 or 48, depending on how poorly we load, have y'all as a, as a as an entity, have y'all entertained the different landfills and had them bid their trash? Well, have we y'all contacted four or five that's local. Yeah, we, and were, we had a contract. Got the best we had a contract ourselves with Richland County. Right, and I understand you have. That's an intergovernmental agreement. agreement contract. You don't bid that. I didn't say we bid. I said we have one. Okay, bill. he asked you if you bid it. Well, have you bid? Have you bid any of the any of the local landfill? Have you bid bid any of the landfills? I haven't bid on okay. the other landfills. No, I think I answered your question. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I was just wondering, you know what I mean? But they'll compete for your business too. Well, we have probably a thousand. Of their trash, if we took everything we had in one month, it would be about one thousandth of a percent of their trash. But I think when we teamed up with Sam, he had a lot more volume and he gave us his rate. And then when Ben bought him out, Ben actually reduced the rate and gave us his rate. So as of right now, Ben Waller is in charge of the collection of the county and the hauling, yes, and sir. with the consideration on the table to give Ben Wall access to our transfer station. Yes. Which I think the latter is a good deal. Now, if y'all can figure it any other way, like if you put a loader in a man there, if it doesn't last, it's going to be in the morning. Y'all want to put out the bid? How much experience do you have? Have you ever done an explosion? Yes, sir. Let me tell you. I'm just saying, like, if I see this, let me explain to you where, where my background is, especially in the last four or five years. All these hurricanes have just come through like y'all. Fires that burn in paradise. There's hundreds of thousands of cubic yards scattered over 100 miles. Yes, I, I'm, I'm absolutely 100% experienced in handling picking the trash up and packing it just in place we can the containers and all of it as fast and as efficient as, as humanly possible. Now, 20 sites that never move it is a cakewalk. You go and pick up debris out of six, seven thousand. I mean, I get the process. I really right. do. Right. Like, and, I don't, and it's not, it's it's, not a rocket science. No, it's up. not. But let me tell you what we were having trouble with here. We don't, the county, we <laughs> collectively, don't manage anything well. I mean, and I'm the first one to agree. I appreciate it. the honesty. And you're right. I mean, we don't. Y'all, you can see that. Right. But we're to the point where we have limited resources. Right. We have a limited labor force here because of what we pay. That's right. 
You know, we got one, and we understand that, but it's just where we are. And so the management aspect of our trash thing was overwhelming just because we did not do a good job. And we were looking more for doing a good job, and if we could do a better job and save money, I was all... I don't know I if thought it was money was the goal. I think we were just trying to get, the, get no. it under control. Yeah. I mean, and you were, you're the first one to put on Facebook. I mean, you know, like, you can get Even the other day, you know what I mean? Just the other day. Yeah, our load, was, our load was tore up, and where did you take the trash? No, I'm talking about the uh, people's farm road. It was. The, the, the loader was thrown up, so we could. The transfer station. What loader? The gravel truck? The brand no. Gravel truck. The loader that loads in, that's what I'm talking about. The loader the, the the loader at the transfer station couldn't right. push it to think, so he had to go to Statesboro to his transfer station to do it. And so, obviously... It took longer to do it. So our loader was tore up. It, it went down Monday afternoon. Is that correct? Last Monday afternoon? So when did y'all call Caterpillar to come fix it? The loader no, they called Caterpillar to come fix it. So the loader department, Caterpillar was actually here last Thursday. Oh, they were apart. They, they were here Thursday. The guy from Caterpillar came down, put the computer on it, and told them that what they thought the problem was, it was not the problem. They ended up having to take the rear end out. And it was taken to the point they the shop got it out. They took it to Statesburg Tuesday. Tuesday. Is that right? Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. It was taken Tuesday. So Caterpillar has the rear rear end repairing it now. Okay. So it went down Monday afternoon and we waited until Thursday to call Caterpillar. That's because the shop thought they knew what was wrong with it. They got the part and when they put the part on it, it did not fix it. So at that point that's when they called the guy in. I want to add one thing out there. Talking about assets, you know, having a lot of assets to spread around. When your loader went down, the trash was 100 yards almost outside the building, which is illegal, okay? Y'all not only couldn't load us, you had to stop us from bringing your trash to the transfer station. So we took it at our cost, not a penny more to you, all the way to our transfer station at I-16 and 301, okay? And we kept the sites empty. Did get a little bit behind, did charge an extra penny. So it, let me finish. In 24 hours the next day when the loader was fixed, we brought in four extra trucks, tractors and trailers, to move all of the trash in 24 hours. It was gone. The building was empty. That's where our extra assets that we can bring in do good. And I want to so say this. I want to say one more thing about local. I, I believe, I, man, I waved that flag all day. I love this county. We hired seven people from this county. Seven. We buy fuel here. We buy tires here. We don't buy all of our tires here, but we buy some tires here. Just to we try to do business where we do business. And this whole idea of Jenkins County, last October, I brought the idea up. We're talking to Jenkins County. This may happen. And if it does, it may benefit y'all. And that's where I am today, bringing this benefit to you. You look at it as tearing up the roads. I look at it as a tremendous benefit to you because you don't have enough volume at your station. 60,000 at Bullet, 30,000 at Emanuel, 20,000. You got a 10,000 ton transfer station. It's not much volume. And this helps that equation. So I just want, and the last thing, landfills. There's only four landfills really to even consider. Mm -hmm. Richmond County. Mm -hmm. They will contract with governments and they have an intergovernmental rate. It ain't bid out. Mm -hmm. They got a rate that they'll give you, and that's the best rate. Mm -hmm. Our rate at waste management is cheaper. Not by a lot, but it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. The only other two options are Broadhurst Environmental, which is in Wayne County. It's too dang far. If it sprinkles, you can't get in and out of there. Mm -hmm. The other one is the uh, Wolf Creek Landfill in Twiggs County. We actually started taking your trash there on day one when we first started, and it was too far. We couldn't get back in time to get the trash due, so we stopped that. So over time, we, you know, we're taking it to waste management. It's the best. It's been the best thing for us. What about Richmond County? You know, waste management is cheaper. Uh, they, they also, I don't know about Richmond on Saturday, but waste is open on Saturday. It's just been a better overall arrangement. We have trucks from Jenkins, Shrevin, Emanuel, and Statesboro make a loop. And that loop is all of those four sites to waste management. If we throw that loop out of whack and go to Richmond, it really causes a trucking problem. Right. So we only have one loader in the county? Right. I, thought, I thought we had two. One that works. We're using the one that works. We got one that's the road department. Okay. I mean, is that what you're asking? Yeah. I, I
Yeah, that's something we have to do. Like they're using right now. Yeah, that they may have a whole other. I know the road department has one. I know yeah. yeah. When you have, when you haul to the, when you haul to to Broadhurst, um, or Wolf Creek, do you do you do you um, do you get that extra twenty nine dollars per load? Uh, you know, that's something you contract about. If you if you take when, we, when we first started, uh, we we had a rate to go to Wolf Creek. Right. And we just stopped. It just ended. We don't. We didn't do it anymore because it, it was too costly, it was too time consuming. So we just stopped. Um, and and we tried to charge a per ton fee to start. We did. When we didn't have a contract and we were just here helping, we were trying to charge a per ton fee. But we were dying because y'all couldn't load us heavy enough. So we agreed on a flat rate, and that's the way it's been ever since. But you know, I'm, I can. The loader, the loader proposal that I've proposed is, is I, I provide, no cost to you, a, a quarter of a million dollar, couple, two, couple hundred thousand dollar loader and a man. And I load my trailers, 24 and a half tons every time quickly. It improves my trucking operation. It improves y'all's loading operation because I'll do it. That is a, a very attractive offer. Um, and I'll tell you, we're in an environment uh, 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 you know about the labor shortages? Well, let me tell you, a 20 yard container a year ago cost about $2,500. It costs $5,500 now. A truck, that grapple truck, cost us $275,000 when we bought it in 19. It now costs over $300,000, and you can't get one. I mean, it, 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 it's, an expensive, it's an expensive truck. Containers are expensive. And I hear this gentleman back here saying I'm full of shit. It's the truth. I can get okay. On, I can get on okay. It's it's it, you know it, it's I just I, I I think you've got a good system. Sites are clean. Thank God we have 18 sites and not 70. You couldn't keep up with the 70 sites. You had trucks. But, but, I don't disagree yeah, that so consolidating was, was, that was a better huge. situation. But huge. I don't. I huge. just will, you'll never convince me looking at the numbers that when we went down 50 sites. The, the savings is not there. The well, number you were at a million plus, now you're at 600 net. We are not at 600. You're at 830, that's what you said. That was in 2017, nope. when you come on site. You said you were at 830,000 in 21. And then if you take in the fact that's what's that- budgeted, That's what's budgeted, but it's not- If you take in the fact that now. we, that, that the revenues that are generated going across the scales now, mm -hmm. that weren't there in 2018, mm -hmm are 200,000, they were 30 or 50 before. You're, you're, you're so far ahead of where you were. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> I got Liz, a, a couple of questions. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, just a smidge above my head. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this. I'm sorry. Here's what I want to do. Well, y'all are scared to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I go to a couple of different transfer stations, hauling waste for our company. And every one I go to, I have to pay for going in and out. I have to have a business check, not a personal check, not a credit card, not cash. Well, they would say cash, but I don't haul cash. We, because I know the county's doing the best job they can on billing, I missed paying my bill here for two months, and it got out of hand, and I had to come in and write a check. Y'all did a great job getting me squared away because I had tickets that I had paid that I thought I had paid and y'all had some tickets I didn't know about. Clear, done, and gone. Why can't we go here? This is one of my couple. Why can't we go here to paying as you drop it? Because I know personally in the collision industry, if I let a vehicle go without accepting that money or asking for or requiring that money right now, I may as well kiss it goodbye. If the transfer station is not taking over, who does the collection on the extra? We're still going to that. We're, we're, we're still going to that point. Well, I, I think we can mitigate the walk-in house and just go oh, in yeah. and lay out. We're, you know, we're definitely going to keep Well, right out. now we run someone who's more of a loader operator running it. We would hire somebody with more secretarial skills that could handle yeah, that. And our bill is... I'm, when I'm telling you, like we know where we're missing the spot. Like I'm not, I'm not hiding from any of it. Well, I'm not telling you we're fixing it. Better. A lot was going on. And then Lord and I went out there and we we physically transferred the billing here to Miss Sonia. And I think, like you said, it's 
there were a couple of years where people weren't getting bills for, for six months, and I'm. The that, city of Sylvania right. owes us forty thousand dollars. I think it's thirty-five. Thirty-five. I mean, because they didn't. They got bills. They just won't but pay. But you can but tell it in our revenue. We realize there's a problem we're trying to address it, and I hope it will get. A better one. It's like just the way the trash that's in the county. Um, when I take my personal trash out of my house across the scales, do I pay again? From what I understand, everything that crosses the scale is supposed to be charged 51 a ton. Yeah, that's the, I mean, because the household's already paid. The trash is already paid to dispose of. Paid for. Every so why does it have to be paid for again? That's saving on the collection. Well, all you have to do, if it's household trash, you put it, we, we, we offer a receptacle to put it in. So I can back my garbage truck up to the green can and unload it? No, if you're a business, I don't think you can. Okay, so but that truck has the same trash that Ben Wall was hauling to the transfer station. Y'all were paying him to not bring it, but y'all want to charge the little guy for bringing it. I don't. I disagree with you, sir. How do you disagree with me? What do you mean? I mean, I don't understand. You're offering a service. I mean, that's you're charging the man to bring it to him. So it's Ben Wall offering a service. So it's Ben Wall. He's a contractor. I'm a contractor. So how is that even different? Because the house has already paid the disposal fee for the year for their trash. And if it goes across the scale again, the same exact trash is getting taxed twice, charged twice. So how am I to figure out, though, just to play devil's advocate, that you're not picking up trash from Jenkins County and bringing it over here? <laughs> but aren't you going to allow them to okay, do the it? same thing when you pick up trash from Jenkins County and bring it over I'm here? Charging $51 I'm charging $51 a ton. So he's going to pay $51 a ton? Yes. Okay. That's the, 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 the chairman. This okay. is the it, I mean, I, mean, I can't not, believe they do it. I can't believe they bring the trash for 50, let us build a 51 and they only charge us 49. And there'll be somebody that's county maintained their way and their trucks in and out, keeping up the tonnage. Yeah, yeah we, we've been doing a lot better job on that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yes, uh, no, I mean, because if you got three or four facilities, and you can run the same load of trash around three or four times and hit every scale on the way out. There's got to be some kind of. But as long as it comes in, if it crosses our scale, it's going to get charged fifty-one dollars. And to answer your question, mm -hmm. when we get more trash flow, uh, trash stream come in, I, I don't see a way. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I don't have any trouble with with your question, or and I see what you're saying. But there's no way I know where the trash that you're bringing is coming from, other than you telling me. I mean, I. But even if I put a GPS in my truck, never leaves this county. We talked about mm -hmm. there's, there's, not a there's not a transfer there's not a transfer station in America that would let a private hauler, you picking up residential trash at houses, you charge a fee for it and come across your scales for free. It's just it's just not practical. Do you get charged for every when you go around to collection sites and get all that, do you get charged when you come across the scale? Everything I bring in there they charge me fifty one a ton except for what I do for that county. But it's like the same thing same he's doing at the county but on a smaller scale. That's competition. Why okay. you're not having to pay and he's having to pay. If if they charge me disposal, I have got to pass that expense back to the county. I understand that. Yeah. The same way with him. That's right. And he's charging that back to his customer. That's how it that's an extra service that they wanted to add on. Plus their disposal fee. They're paying to have their garbage disposed of. How it gets to the end user, they're paying an extra fee not to have to go to the, not to have to go to one of these consolidated sites. His business exists for the sole fact of, of 70 sites got consolidated between them. Bingo. His his business was spawned because of what we did. Hallelujah. Okay. That's entrepreneurship. You're not understanding that. Well, you get to go out and you get to collect the trash from the collection site. You get to go across the scales for free. Because the county, by every household, has already paid for the disposal of that trash. Same with him. He's just skipping you. I don't know that we're getting any. I don't disagree with 
with this argument, I think we see it good morning and yeah. never never get where we're going. So the end result is absolutely not going to be a disappointment. Why 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 can't they just let them commit a bid at the end of the year when it's time to bid? Let them commit a bid for the holler. For the holler. For the holler. Yeah. At the end of the year, let them submit a bid. Is that, is that, and the transfer station? Yeah. Submit a bid for the hauling. But yeah, because, and I want folks to understand this, because you submit a bid, and you can be a low bid, that don't mean we accept that bid. It don't mean that. I hope you understand that. I do understand okay, that. Okay, okay, all right. But I, but I hope you understand that, you know, service, if the service is the same and comparable, then the people have a the people have a right to understand and know why we're taking a higher bid if the service is comparable. I'm not talking about so, a so paintbrush and a spray gun, like you like your last analogy. But if you've got trucking company to trucking company, and the services are comparable, if you you, you know like we have to answer to the people as to why we would opt for his over his if his is lower. So we should take his lower bid now, right? <laughs> No. No, because we don't get it. Because nobody has had the option option to bid it. You just said we should take the lower offer. No, I said yeah. if it's comparable, but nobody's had the option to bid it. And do you really want to? Because I mean, you want to give 24 hours and let these people out here give the option to bid it. I mean, is that what you want to do? I don't understand your question. You just asked if we should take his lower bid. That's not a bid. He, nobody has lower offer. Nobody has. You haven't given them the option. No, I'm this whole should meeting is about giving options. Is about giving opportunity. Okay, you going to give them opportunity? End of the year. But that's not on okay. his solely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not the king here. I can't. There's not up I'm to just me. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think that's what this meeting is about. They're giving somebody an opportunity. Mm -hmm. This meeting is about our trash. Like how we can best yeah. dispose of it well, as economically as possible. Well, you shut them down by shut down. you shut everybody who wanted the opportunity down by signing up for a five-year contract that we're stuck in. So you shut them down there. So now we've moved on to the hauling. The hauling is open at the end of the year. Okay. And Gene, no one came. Nobody was interested. You didn't bid it. I didn't say you bid it. There was no interest. You didn't bid it. I didn't say you bid it. You didn't bid it. Yes, ma'am. I did have a question about the five-year contract. Who was the contract made with? Hauling. All green. Okay. And it was bought out by? Atlantic Road. Okay. So does it say in that contract that Atlantic Waste made the contract or All Green made the contract? It must have signed. They got the right to sign it. Yeah. Without it. permission of the county? No, they yeah, signed it. It's, it's, already, it's already in here. They allowed it. They allowed it in October. Okay. In other words, you gave us as citizens no right to say that we didn't want that. Bill that was purchased by Ben Wall. So you're telling me you don't want to do business with somebody just because of who they are? No, I'm saying you don't want to do business with somebody because of the way they run their business. I know about Ben Wall and his family. I've dealt with them many, many times. I, I just want to get if we're going to start saying we're not no, going to do business asking. because of, I'm not even sure of that. I know it's not ethical. No, I'm just asking. But you did an assignment without even asking. No, ma'am, we did it in a public meeting now. It was not anybody. With option to oppose it. The board had the option to, to not assign it. That is correct. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Last thing I'm going to start doing. Mr. Tommy. This is a, a very complicated when you start throwing figures from here and figures from there and figures from over there, when you're not, when there are different parts of a three-part system the way I see it. Agreed. You got collection, you got hauling, and you got uh, tipping fees. The pay, we would like to see figures on each different section of that, each part. I took some old figures that were brought up here tonight at the table and I ran them, and we were paying, on an average, $25 a ton trucking. I know he said a different figure a while ago, 
when is this now? now recently or you said you took some old figures like 15 figures or 20 figures no there were i think there were 19 figures i'd have okay. to go back and look at i'm not trying to pin you down i'm just I trying to see if it's when we were doing it or and i'm talking old figures okay okay um, but what i'm trying to say is that i've talked to some people that do have to have trucking done and the going rate from Sylvania to Savannah is between between uh, fourteen and fifteen dollars, and yet we were paying twenty five a couple of years ago. Right. That savings alone, if the truck is not properly loaded, you're you're, and they brought up a figure of forty four. I don't know where that comes from. I, I guess that's what's the limit. Uh, the limit. I, but I used a figure of forty as a load. If you just short one ton. I think 20, 24 and a half or 25 is probably where you can end up. Okay, well, the I, walking use, floor trailer, I, I use 40,000 pounds as a load okay. truck. Okay, all right. Okay. So, but if you short one ton, then that raises your cost on the other 19 tons, a dollar and 30 something cents a ton. Yeah. So that truck needs to be properly loaded. Yep. Every time. I mean, every, every time. time. Every time yeah. it pulls out. But that, that was not being done the way I understand. There are a lot of places in this system, the old system, and that, that you could save money by if, if you if you properly managed what you were doing. And you've already admitted it's poorly managed. We all know it's poorly managed. Well, it all I'm trying to say is that going forward, we need to look at three different aspects. And we need to bid aspects. We need to seek out whatever one Collection, bid out collection. We also need to look and see if the county can get back in the business of collection. Well, I personally am not interested in that. Well, I think that, that you possibly could save, but I don't. But anyway, it, look at the trucking. Each section needs to be looked at, and where you can bid it, it needs to be bid. Period. That's all I got to say. Thank you. I appreciate it. You got some more comments? My last question, sure. when y'all were, again, over my head. I'm not on the trucking side of this, I'm on the collection side of this. By the number I've got, it, or June 30th, 2024, and then my ducks in a row, is that correct? Yeah. As far as coming up with a bid, we're not going to put that back out, okay? Are y'all going to provide a scope of... I have of, a scope that I wrote. Okay. Now, it needs to be reviewed by the board. It's just something yeah. I did on my own, on my own computer, okay. off of some other stuff, mm -hmm. some input from some other people. I'm no expert. Just so we're on the same page. I'm, I'm buying groceries for a little. I would just, I mean, because I've got three other things, three other businesses to keep up with. This is would make number four. I do want the opportunity, but also I want to make sure we're on the same playing field. My 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 biggest concern is if when when we take it to bid, I don't want a bid aspect. I want the whole thing. I don't want someone that's collecting it to depend on somebody to load it, to depend on somebody to truck it, to depend on somebody to dispose of it. Because then we're in the same, sir? You know how neighbors work around here? Yeah, when so, the load goes out, you call Mr. Joe. Well, but well, what I mean is like right now the disconnect is is in the gap. So the gap is us in the loading, like Mr. Sobar was saying, we're not loading it properly. Well, before it was in collections. We weren't collecting it properly. And before then it was breaking the law by just letting it pile up out of there. We didn't have any way to fix it. So like, my question is, where's that? Uh, okay, that was the exact phrase I was going to use. Where's the bus stop at that? Yeah. Not necessarily, because I know if I fail in my business, if I don't get paid, yeah. where are my seven employees living at? We, we, we would require some type of performance bond or that's some type would, of... That, well, that, that's, that's our concern. Like a performance this, bond would be really hard to get. That's why I didn't want to bring all this up. It'd make okay. it look like I was targeting you. That's and I know you personally. I don't think you would do anything to harm the county, but if I came here and said, Tyler, I need to buy a grapple, I need to buy 65 cans at $5,000, and I need to buy a load if you, if you build it up. Mm -hmm. So I need you to put me up a million one in a performance bond. You might have a hard time getting that performance bond there's, without expense. There's no comparison. When sure. you look at what I do on the side, and I mean, as a, as a secondary business from what I, 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 I guess I consider my professional business, there's no comparison from Sam to me. I mean, he's in the yeah. I'm, I'm down at Little League, but that still doesn't mean that I I do it efficiently. I don't know. That. I agree. I would, and, and I all I'm asking for sure. is that in 2024, well, when this comes up, I just need to know enough ahead of time that that's coming up, and that I'm not going to be three days late. Is all it is. 
Well, my concern is, is when we start this, like there's no, if you can't perform, whoever, not you, I mean, whoever you bid, yeah. if Sam can't perform, like this, is, we got two days, it's piled up to the point, we, we got our hat in our hand hunting somebody, and that's the reason we kept our front load truck straight, that's the reason we kept the loaders, because I knew we didn't have 30 days to work on this, or what would make more feel good? Oh, I don't know. I'm I just, mean, I'm talking about me. I'm not five. talking about the Ford. No, I understand that's not that answer they can get right now. But I understand, I mean, you know, you're thinking along the lines of what? A contingency program? I put $100,000 in an account up there as, as a... Just bought, I would <coughs> assume, to me, most contracts that I've been involved with, you just get a performance bond. That's right. They don't have one. Huh? They don't have one. Sam, you do a performance bond? They don't have one currently. Can, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, but he did. But they don't have one currently. Right? He hadn't bid it out. I mean, he just asked to me when he read it out. You don't have a I'm just, with the county now. I'm just saying he doesn't have one now. Trey asked what I would be in line. Yeah, that's right. And I was just asking him that he had one yeah. on, in, on file with the county now. Yeah. I, think, I think the reason that some folks don't do performance bonds is it's an added cost for you or me. Mm -hmm. And you got to pass it along. It goes back to the auction. Yep, you got to pass it along. It's not a cheap thing. Anybody who likes a letter of credit, if you had a good working relationship, that'd be much more efficient for everybody. Okay. And like before we got into this, it kind of reminds me of Burke County, which there this dude do they? He said, we've got 200 dumpsters throughout the county. we got a population of 23,000. We want a letter of introduction, experience of your firm, a project team references, current projects and insurance that you have. If you're interested in proposals from contract delivery, the best replacement for operation. It's pretty vague. That's kind of where we were at. We didn't know what we didn't have. We didn't well, know what we didn't have. Yes, ma'am. Well, I was going to ask, is there a standardized form for bidding process? Because I know some When you say standardized, it's per, per each, it's per each bid, not yeah. like it wouldn't be a standard form to bid grass cutting and bid trash pickup. Right, right, but I mean, just for uh, one, yeah. one particular yeah. job, yeah. there is yeah. a standardized yeah. form that everybody could be provided the same information. Yeah, yeah, same requirement. The RFP would lay out what we would want, what we need, and we would expect everybody to provide that information so we can make the same. It's kind of like we do with the roads with the LD. Yeah, there's a bid project. Our mileage, yeah, our projects, our materials are listed, and but we break it out how we bid on a lot of its materials. But we just don't want to bid on just the whole. We want the whole bid, uh, the, the whole nine yards. And I, you know, that's just my opinion. That yeah. ain't the representation of the board. See, right. That would I mean, be my personal. Yeah, opinion. but I, I so would, what you? Uh -huh. I don't want. I, you know, you, know you, you just don't want to bid just the, the whole. I mean, the truth yeah. is, if we bid the whole and out, and Sam's taking Maybe. so much of commercial trash and the city trash. There's a breakdown in the relationship with the hauler for right. some odd reason. He's just gonna take his pay for it. Yeah. And then the hauler who thinks he's think he's gonna haul eight tons a week getting five and a half, six. So I mean, you, it's just hard. Yeah. See, so y'all's mentality is essence. is that one company should do all of it. Yes. And one person. Essence, and that's what that's, a, that's the bid we'll put out. Step by step. Because you can't. How are you going to bid hauling in January in December when you're under a five year contract? Yeah. 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 And then they've done another one. Yeah. And then now, they're, and now that they're, they're fixing to wrap it all up and get all three parts because they don't have the, they don't have the load station yet. They come in and done just exactly what both of y'all just said that you wanted one company to do it all. But when you entered into this, you let him do one part. Then you let him do another part. And now you're going to give him a transfer station, and all of a sudden, there's a little, it all. There's a little nuance, like the budget was divided between a strict collection, so we had to divide our payroll for who collected, and we had to divide payroll and expenses out for who, how it was disposed. So it was strictly divided, and that's how it's always been. And Rick, that's how he operated. So as our budget and everything kind of combined, it, the need to divide things weren't necessarily there. But to answer your question, yeah, that's how it was. But it seems like the, the, yeah. that it evolved. It's, yeah. it's evolving from a three-part process into a one-part process now that you have a one-part provider. Yeah. So for the record, it's are y'all going to bid the transfer? Are y'all going to give opportunity for different companies to operate the transfer station, or it's just going to be? We want to only keep the transfer station. I thought. Are you going to bid? 
Are you going to offer gifts for different companies to operate the transfer? No. Maybe the loader. But I thought we were going to operate the transportation in the building. Okay, let me let me rephrase that. Are you going to are you going to solicit? Are you going to solicit? Are you going to solicit bids? She's saying you. Like is, she no, is the county going to no, solicit uh, bids? <laughs> is the county going to solicit bids for the loading transfer section that you're trying to offer? Atlantic Waste right now. Yes or no? Going to haul them. Since the they offer to do it for free, I don't think anybody's going to bid any cheaper. Yeah, if anybody wants to do it for free. So you're not going to solicit bids? I don't know. I don't no soliciting of bids. Okay. It's the intent of best interest of whoever's, whoever's loading the trucks. It's in their best interest for those trucks to get loaded quickly. I just simply, I just want to It's in our best interest that they're loaded well, I agree. I, I completely agree. Look, when I come on board, look here. When I come on the board, these trucks were being loaded at 14, 15 tons, and nobody looked at the bills until I started looking at them and started raising questions. Like well, we had loads, we yeah. had loads pump roll out of this county at two tons and at nine tons, mm -hmm. and nobody bothered to call and ask for a credit until I pointed it out to Lloyd. So I get where y'all are. You know, the whole loading of the trucks. Like, I get it. I just simply ask, are we going to solicit bids? or for the operation of the transfer station, the loading of the trucks of the transfer station, or we're just going to hand it to them? I don't know what the board's going to do. Okay. That would be a new piece. Thank you. I'm fine with giving it to him because no one's going to offer to bid. I mean, like Tyler, I mean, right now, you're fine with giving it to him. Sure, I am. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It all depends. Me that you offer me an exclusive contract on the other two parts. Yeah, I got you loaded in the morning. So, in the meantime, is what I'm saying, would we be wrong in the meantime while the contract's still running? That ain't the way he does it. That's not the way he does it. Anything else? Yeah, when you don't want to talk about it. Anything bring forth? Take us to court. It's not me. I mean, well, I mean, well, I know we've been following the law. You know, you know, no, I, I just read you the law, Commissioner yeah. Warren, and well, we he's active. Well, we got an attorney here. Well, shoot, the tax assessor just yeah. broke it for that $500 for not like bidding out people mailing out all the statements to them. Who's the tax commissioner? Well, any, any, any tax address that? Anything else to come we forward tonight? Right? Yeah, let's take care of it. Okay. All minds come up here. Any other business to come forward? Well, we need to go to church. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind <laughs> <laughs>